Good morning. It's been a little while since we've been on one of these. We're back off up to the lakes and we're going to be doing another wild camp. I enjoyed the first one so much and all of my photos and videos have managed to inspire someone who wants to come and join me on another wild camp. We're going to be camping at a town called Codel Tarn. And whilst we're there, we're going to try and hit at least three Wainwrights before we uh, descend down to our camping spot at Codel Tarn. Let's get going. up dad at the services and we've arrived in Grasmere for our hike and it's absolutely chucking it down we've got waterproof trousers on waterproof coat the bags are covered up I think we're in for a very very wet night so we're now currently heading through the town centre of Grasmere and up to Silver Howe A short little break in the rain a really really quick rundown we're heading up Silverhow from Silverhow we're heading across to Blee Rig and from Blee Rig we're gonna try and get Sergeant Mann in before dropping down to our wild camping location at Codel Tarn. Codel Tarn is where we'll camp for the night and in the morning we'll head up hit Tarn Crag which is over that way, and then head back down to the car, and then we're gonna drive and pick up my mum for the hike tomorrow. I'm carrying all the cooking equipment and whatnot in my bag. Dad skimped out, and he's not carrying anything. <laughs> so he's weighing in at 13 kilograms, and I'm weighing in at about 15. So we just had a quick stop, take off water, uh, our wet kit, um, Dad's kept his coat on, but I'm going to risk it because, hey, the sun's come out. So yeah, as I was saying, I've got about 16 kilograms in here. We've packed a couple of beverages. Um, I just can't seem to get my bag down weight-wise. I've cut a kilogram of water out by buying a water filter, like people had suggested in the last video. Um, I, just, I just don't know how I'm meant to get the weight down. That weight will obviously come down when I drink the beers and eat the food. Other than that, I just don't understand how I can take any more down. So the next time I see you, we'll be approaching close to Silver Howe, um, because that's our first Wainwright. Be Dad's first ever wild camp. After 
my solo adventure I went on, he came up to me and he said, I really want to give that a go. And here we are, back in the old Lake District, giving it a go. Just having a little break in the montage of uh, videos that you're getting of us climbing over to Silverhow. I wanted to show you this. That over there, that is snow on top of the peaks. So we've just come to our first little river crossing, just coming up here. And uh, it might be time for a quick water break with my new handy water filter we're not depleting our water source that we're carrying with us we're collecting water this is what he's doing now and filtering water so we can then use the water as drinking water in fairness it's probably fairly clean anyway it's fresh running water over rocks so it's probably fairly clean but it saves us depleting our water source and we can share that water now so good stuff good investment so just in front of us right there that's silver how we think we've worked out what that is we think that's lang how but that's not part of our route today but silver how is the first wayne right of this 2024 trip Here we are at the top of Silver Howe and look at that view. The rain's proper coming thick and fast again so we haven't done much recording up there. We're heading over towards Blee Rig. It's quite flat and level this way. But yeah, it's just like this the whole way. Like this. So hopefully we should get to Blee, Blee, Blee Rig within the hour. Currently half past five. Now sunset isn't due till half six, but the clag has just come in terribly. You can hardly see dad. And because of that, it's getting a lot darker than we expected at this time. Uh, the clag just makes you feel like you're um, well, almost in darkness. You can't see anywhere. So um, there's not much footage gonna be between Silver Howe and Blee Rig purely because of the weather conditions. We just want to get to Blee Rig, do Blee Rig and head straight to Kodal Tarn because we want to get to our camp spot and set up before it gets too dark and too hard to set up. So we'll probably see you at the summit of, well, if I survive it and don't trip over, we'll hopefully see you at the summit of Blee Rig. We had a massive nightmare back there. We got lost in all this clag um, and unfortunately we couldn't find our way uh, Dad made us pull out the map and compass, which was, this is why you always should take a map and compass with you. We reassessed where we were, and we're back on the path, but it does show you how easy it is to get lost. Now this is a big tarn here, just below Blee Rig. We're just about to start our ascent to Blee Rig, but yeah, this shows us and tells us that we know that we're now heading in the right direction. It's been quite a hard ascent. I'm on the GoPro. But it's not just been physically hard, it's been mentally hard too. Getting feeling lost. The fact that we've got about half an hour left of sunlight. The thought of coming down in the dark. Yeah. But we're almost at the top of Blee Rig. And that is some hope in its own right. And I'm looking forward to 
making me peri peri chicken and rice. But after all of that, that is what we've got to show for our physical and mental challenge. A tiny little can on the top of Blee Rig. There he is, come on mate. The top of Blee Rig. That's been mentally and physically exhausting. But that's the second way right done. Go on, touch that can. You deserve it. There we go. I just thought I'd quickly whip the camera out while we have a view of Codal Tard. So we've decided to not do Sergeant Man tonight uh, because of the, the daytime and the weather. Uh, that's where we're going to go tomorrow morning to do Sergeant Man. But we're heading this way down towards Codal Tard. So you can see Codal Tard in the distance and somebody has beaten us to the camp spot. You can see them right there. So we'll have to walk around and then look for a better camp spot, I suppose. But that's where we are camping. So Dad's just carried on down to Kodaltan, uh, just down there. And then East Altan is over to the, the right. And I've just, at this uh, stream here, filled up my bottle and all of the bottles here for us to cook because we're getting close now. So I'm gonna crack on, catch up with him, set the tent up. I'll see you down there. So just over the brow, this here was Kodaltan. And I think Dad was starting to begin. We'd never see it. I don't know if I'm gonna get a video of the tent being put up. It's just way too dark. Um, so we'll have to see when we get there. But we've made it and it's really nice and tranquil. food cooking there and our tents are there you won't be able to sit through the clag but it has been an absolute nightmare of a trip here we've both got our food cooking there's the other guys pitched up over there cheers cheers but we've made it we can have a beer have our food and then uh, we'll see if the rain holds out and whether we can stay up having another beer and chat but the rain is coming down i can see it so but yeah the clag is proper coming so hopefully uh, there won't be as much clag in the morning what a day we've done six miles two wayne rights we're gonna do two more tomorrow um but as for now we're gonna yeah the tents will set up i'll show you it in the morning because it's just too dark to show you now so we've got the jet boil boiling away our two tents dad's just put his down jacket on but we've got our food cooking and beers we've just put on our down jackets and uh our waterproof coats but yeah it's stopped raining now which is good so I've got peri peri chicken with rice. Um, I would do a review of it, but uh, I'm really hungry and it's uh, getting cold, so yeah. So we're both in our tents, settled down for the night. It's only quarter to nine, but we're knackered. It's been a long day and uh, it keeps raining and it's really windy and cold outside. So we thought we'd get in and get our heads down 
I fell in a massive puddle. I can't even call it a puddle, it was like a sinkhole. So the low light is making this really hard, but I think. No, there's a massive. My trousers are soaked. My left boot is absolutely sodden. Other than that, I'm gonna read my book for a bit and then get my head down and uh, hopefully see you in the morning. So with that further ado, good night. It's currently 10 past midnight. Morning. The time is seven past six. Uh, the sun rose at about five forty-five. Uh, we've just checked the weather re report, and the rain is coming in thick and fast. So we're going to get into gear, get ourselves some food on the go, and then uh, get up, do time crag, and head back. We're going to scratch off Sergeant Man. It, the weather's just too bad. Um, it was. Relentless wet rain and relentless wind all through the night, literally the whole th the whole night. I don't think it stopped at all. So without that, we're going to go get some food quickly now, then pack away, and then uh, get on our way. But before that, let's have a look what it looks like outside the tent. So wet kit's back on from yesterday. It's freezing. Down jacket's on. We're going to cook some food, but let's have a look outside. And do we have... Oh, look at that. That's not a terrible view. Over there, that's where those other people were camping last night. This is where we decided to camp, just here, by this, by the edge of the tarn. Just here. And then this is our little setup, just over here. Dad's company over there with the food, and I'm going to show you inside my tent again. So I've got a new addition to my camping equipment. I've got the Thermarest Trail Pro, and this kept me so so warm last night it was utterly insane how warm this kept me the tent this side of the tent was the side that i was saying was collapsing on itself the wind was hitting this and all of this was just pushing down in on itself and where my head was to the left i was just getting crushed by the tent Just like that, the bit that I find always so oddly satisfying with wild camping, as if by magic, it's all gone and packed up into a bag. And remember, leave no trace, all you leave behind is flat grass. So we started our climb up to Tarn Crag, Codel Tarn's just behind me. Dad's there. 
he's uh, messaging the relevant people to let them know that we've set off and that we're uh, packed up and all okay. But it's very wet again, very windy. And I think we're both very much looking forward to getting into some warm clothes. My feet are soaked from where I uh, stacked it yesterday. If I haven't already played the video, play it again. I think. Yep, um, I done so well. Kept my feet completely dry and then stacked it right at the last minute on the way to our pitching point. <laughs> but I'll see you at the top of Tarn Crag. There's not a lot of point me filming anything. It's so much clag. You just can't see anything. What a night. That's all I can say is what a night. But it happens. And hopefully this video will show you a little bit that even for us guys that do it and film our experiences, get caught in bad weather. And uh, what can you do about it? You have two choices. You either don't go out or you just deal with it. So we walked around for a few minutes to try and find Tarn Crag. We think this is it. We're not 100% sure. I want to touch these stones. But this is what we've Wait taken to mean it. There we go. The views are absolutely amazing. I think this is it. And if it was not claggy, we'd have amazing views. But you win some, you lose some. That's what we're taking to mean Tarn Crag. If you come up here, then uh, take your sense of photo because you'll probably have a better view than us. We're going to head back down. There's a path just down here. We're going to head back down that all the way to the car. We'll see you uh, back at the car. There's not much point in me recording any of this because it's just claggy. But yeah, Tarn Crag, three Wainwright stuff today, one overnight camp, and then we're heading back to our cottage to collect the third member of our party. And then we're heading out for another day of walking. We're almost treating it as two separate days. Today was the wild camp and 3-3, and then we're going over that way and doing pavey arc, pike and stick and all that. Hopefully the weather would have cleared in the next two, three hours. But we're gonna go back, and drop off all of our uh, heavy wet gear from the camp and pick up some dry gear and set off for tomorrow, but today's walk. So we've obviously just gone to Tarn Crag and on our way down, we're now passing the top of Easdale Tarn. This is Easdale Tarn, the tarn that was just down from where we camped at Codal Tarn. And you can see it just there coming out in the clouds. Now this is also a really popular wild camping destination. Um, we chose not to go here because it's more popular than Codal Tarn and it's, well, massive. soaking wet trousers are soaked boots are drenched but we did it those were probably one of the hardest conditions i've ever wild camped in not the hardest but one of the hardest but we're so glad we did it dad's just at the local bakery grabbing a bacon roll because we're both starving after that descend down 9 47 so we've made good time we're going to go back to our little cottage pick up my mum that's the third person and then we're going to go for another five and a half mile walk later on at about half 10, 11 o'clock. 
if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more guys and if you've got any tips for wild camping please put them down below in the comments because i do read them and they are so useful um anything that you would do differently on this anything for dealing with the wet weather just uh, whack them down below because i loved watching them but yeah one of the worst conditions i've ever camped in thank you for coming along it's been amazing uh, dad really enjoyed it as well besides the fact that it was torrential rain and it was terrible conditions we got the job done and we got three wainwrights done tarn crag silver Howe, and blee rig so remember guys click that like button hit the subscribe comment down below if you've got something to say about it but thank you so much for coming along and hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one which for you guys will probably be maybe a couple of weeks before it gets uploaded but for me it's in about three hours time <laughs> so take care everybody and i'll see you then Thank you.